you draw hair by hair so this is brow uh, flick I blushed with embarrassment and there is an expression to put a gloss on some things. Hello beauty, I'm Olga, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is part 2 of the small series English for makeup and you can find the first part in the description down below. If you are into makeup, stay with me as in today's video we are going to cover all of the necessary words so that you can watch your favorite makeup artist, YouTube blogger and understand everything what they are saying and enjoy the knowledge they share. So are you ready? Let's begin! As in the previous video, we were talking about our skin tone and how to make the skin beautiful with the help of foundation and other makeup products. Today we will be talking all about the colors. So the colors which we use for our eyes, our eyebrows, lips and cheeks. So let's start with the eyes and the product which we use for our eyes or better say our eyelid is the eyeshadow. They can be of different types and probably the most used are powder eyeshadow, so such pressed ones and they can be shimmer so they are shiny yeah so shimmer they have very very small pieces which shine or they can be matte also you may see bloggers using such pigments they call it so these are loose eyeshadows and they are called pigments or you can hear vloggers saying I will be applying liquid eyeshadow or creamy eyeshadow or they can also use a stick uh, eyeshadow or crayon. The videos which I adore watching are the ones where makeup artists are talking about how to apply the eyeliner and how to make this beautiful, what do you call it? It's not a line actually, so the product is called eyeliner, but this black line which we make with the eyeliner is called a wing. So wing. If you want to find makeup tutorials, how to make a perfect wing, this is what you should be searching for. So how to make a perfect wing or how to make an easy wing. We can also make a wing with a pencil, I'm sure you know this word, or we also use pencil for the lower lashes, right? So this is what the makeup artists say, that you can apply it in the lower lashes or upper lash line. So talking about lashes, we move on with the mascara. And then you can hear bloggers saying that it can be a regular mascara or waterproof. So this waterproof is resistant to water. So you can swim, you can uh, not be afraid about the rain or any kind of weather conditions when it is snowing. So the waterproof mascara. Can I please use this moment just to tell you, in case you didn't know, I've recently found out that this shape, and it doesn't matter which brand it is, but this particular shape is just the best of the best. In case you didn't know or you were not sure to buy or not to buy, can I please just share with you my personal opinion? This shape is just amazing. You will love it, I guarantee. And actually also I would like to give a credit to such shape. This one is also not bad and I would even say that this is also very good but this one is the best and after that goes this one. Lovely shape, very nice, very easy to apply and beautiful, beautiful finish. It's just this, you know, girlish recommendations. And then, of course, uh, different mascaras have different purposes, so it can be for length, 
so it makes the eyelashes longer it can be for volume so that they are like more volume it looks like there are a lot of lashes and then another beloved is for separation so that all the eyelashes look separate yeah so they are separated and actually before applying a mascara we may also use such a tool if you are afraid of this one no need to be worried i was also afraid before i bought it and i promise this is a game changer so this is an eyelash curler because it creates this beautiful curl yeah so our eyelashes become like it they look up and they become more visible and it's just beautiful 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 finish and to finish with the eyelashes i should mention something what makeup artists uh, use quite often are false lashes so false or they can also call them falsies uh, because false is something what is not real actually false you probably know it from the english exercises false means incorrect or something what is not true but also something what is not real and we use the word false to describe such objects which are artificial meaning not real but they look like real ones and they uh, they intend to substitute something what uh, can be real but instead we use something what is false and of course in order to apply falses we would need some kind of glue yeah so this is the eyelashes false eyelashes glue for the false eyelashes falses next let's come to our eyebrows and for those we can use pencil brow flick or brow gel or brow setter <laughs> so many products so first of all the easy uh, option is to use the pencil or shadow there can be also brow shadows or uh, such uh, brow gel which is pigmented meaning it has color and you should be choosing the color which is good for you so this one is brow gel or also there may be a brow setter so it is without color but it keeps our eyebrows in place so right now it is in fashion that they look a little bit up so i don't have a brow setter but here is the picture or you may be applying brow flick so this is when you paint each and every separate um hair so it really brow flick really looks like this one like eyeliner so you draw hair by hair so this is brow uh, flick next we're gonna be making our cheeks beautiful but before that if i may ask you to give a like to this video because it makes a huge difference and as you are enjoying this lesson more and more people will be able to find it and also enjoy it the same way you are so to make our cheeks beautiful usually makeup artists proceed with the bronzer this is to give our skin this bronze look like they say sun-kissed skin and we may apply it more like on cheeks or even the forehead a little bit or also i saw some makeup artists apply it on the eyelid in case you don't want to use the eyeshadow so this is the bronzer and bronzer can be sheer so very lightweight almost not visible it can be shimmer so it is sparkling it can be compact like i have so such powder or it can be liquid or cream ones just like in the picture next they proceed with the blush and it can be compact just like i have and mine is shimmer uh, but it can be also matte it can be also such ball blusher 
all blush can be loose and also creamy. An interesting expression which you may like is to blush with some emotion. So you can blush with happiness or blush with embarrassment. It means that you feel some emotion and your cheeks become rosy or red so that everyone can see it. I blushed with embarrassment when my boss saw me being late for work. And finally, we may highlight, they say, some areas on our cheeks so that there is a beautiful, shiny finish. So this is the highlighter. Actually, because you highlight something, so you make it visible, you make it noticeable and you actually say, please look here because I highlighted it. So you can highlight something in a conversation, you can usually highlight something uh, in a book, in your notes, yeah, so highlight. So this is what the highlighter does. And finally, to make our lips beautiful, what we can use on regular basis, the lip balm, uh, right? So just to make them soft or even in the beginning of the makeup, makeup artists sometimes say that uh, I apply my lip balm and then I move on with all of the steps and finally I can apply my lipstick. So the traditional matte or shimmer uh, lipsticks. Lipstick can also be sheer, right? So not much visible. Before applying the lipstick, we may apply the uh, lip liner. So this pencil, it's not, we don't call it pencil for lips, we call it lip liner. Okay, so this is the lip liner and we can apply the lipstick with this small brush for lips or some people prefer lip gloss. And it is called gloss because it is shiny. Usually all of these uh, glosses are shiny because gloss means the shine on some surface. So you can say the rain produced a beautiful gloss on the asphalt. And there is an expression to put a gloss on something. So if you put a gloss on something, you try to make it more attractive or more acceptable for people because you provide them with wrong explanation or some kind of wrong uh, impression so that it seems better or seems uh, more attractive. The whole idea of that movie was to give history a happy gloss. And the last question to you, what do you call this nice, beautiful bag where you uh, keep all of your makeup products? Uh -huh. So this is called makeup kit. So you put here all your makeup products and you can travel with it. And of course, the makeup kit can be of different sizes. It can be small or big or it can be even like a suitcase, you know, it is also makeup kit. This is what makeup artists have, makeup kit. Great, we are done with our makeup. Thank you so much for staying till this moment. You've done a great job. Please let me know in the comments below if you learned any new words today and which of those were helpful for you. Now you can go and enjoy your favorite makeup artist talking about how to apply makeup, giving you all the makeup tutorials. If you haven't seen the first part of the English for Makeup series, I invite you to have a look. The link is in the description down below. Hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you for being with me today. Take care and see you soon. Bye!